Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is HandmadeInVermont.com and today we're talking about the Hubberton Forge interior wall sconce called the New Town. This is the small one, the 204260. This is going to be the one not with a hurricane shape glass that kind of comes out like a hurricane on, and bulges out on the bottom. This is going to be the one with a straight tube, 204260. So it's a little bit more contemporary. This is 12.6 inches tall, 4.2 five wide projection from the wall outs coming at 3.7 that makes this ADA compliant and those of you guys who are doing ADA compliant projects that's Americans with Disabilities Act that says that a sconce can only come out from the wall up to four inches you'll be able to work with this fixture okay so back plates 4.75 by 4.25 and mounting height from the bottom of the fixture to the middle of your electrical outlet box is 2.9 inches right to the center of here from the bottom great way for you to see more details on that is for you to look at the install sheets. These are the papers that are going to be in the box when you get it. They have a ton of great information you can use now. How we're going to see that? Look over on the right hand side of the screen, midway down if you're on the page for this fixture, there's a link that says click here for installations instructions PDF. Click on that for me and open it up. It is going to show you a lot of stuff. Parts list, how it goes together, and the most important part is how it goes on your junction box. So really take a look at that and take advantage of the fact that it's there for a lot of Hubbardton Forge fixtures on all the pages, okay? So moving on from there, let's get into what's inside. So it's going to be using a Type B. That's a smaller chandelier screw and bulb. If you want to stick with an uh, incandescent, you're limited to a 60 watt bulb. That's because of the heat generated by that bulb for incandescent only. If you guys want to do LEDs like this guy, there's no limit other than the size of the bulb getting in the glass. And this is a type B. It's kind of a torpedo shape. You can find these in 40 watt equivalent, 60 watt equivalent, uh, 75 watt equivalent. And I know I have actually seen them out in the marketplace as an LED, 100 watt equivalent bulb, which is pretty amazing. But I think I found it on Amazon in one of those places. So another thing is when you buy LEDs, you choose the color temperature. So this light coming down on my hand is 3000 Kelvin. That is the warmer light. I tend to like that. Some, some of you guys out there like the cooler daylight. They call it full spectrum. That's going to be 4000 Kelvin, 5000 Kelvin. It'll, if you're buying this online, the bulb online, it'll tell you right off the bat what the color temperature is. If you're buying this in a hardware store, you'll see on the box there's a little chart and it'll have 3000 Kelvin at one side and, and it'll go up to like 5000 on the other side and a little arrow will be pointing of where it is and it'll say warm white 3000 Kelvin and they kind of go from there. So it's also a dimmable fixture. If you guys want to dim it, buy a dimmable LED, okay? And very important. Uh, moving on from there, you're going to have two different options for glass on this. So Hubbardton Forge's opal glass is a soft white. And then after that, you're going to have another one, which is called Seated Clear. Seated Clear is a clear glass with little tiny air bubbles in it. Remember, if you're going to be doing uh, Seated Clear, you're going to be able to see the bulb. Um, opal is going to be an opaque glass, so you can't see the bulb. So <clears throat> that takes care of that. Let's hop into uh, metal finishes. So if you're on our site, you'll notice there's a whole bunch of red tabs over on the left-hand side of your screen. One of those is going to be a Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, Click on that for me, open it up. Top of that page is going to be a video of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I will be referencing a color chart farther down on the page. So scroll down on the page till you see the chart with all the finishes on it. Watch the video, use, the, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures, dark smoke, burnished steel, soft gold, whatever. Big window is going to pop up. It's going to show you a whole bunch of, of different Hubbardton Forge fixtures in that finish. So just know that that's all there for you, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. We actually have a page on our website called What's on Display. It's back over in the red tabs, so check that out. Uh, we update that all the time. We're always adding new things. We also have a clearance center. So clearance center is going to be 75% off MSRP. It's returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. It's an amazing deal for you guys. You have to come here to use it. Remember that. If you're going to visit us, do a couple things. So uh, take a measuring tape, measure your ceilings, because you're going to go through that clearance book and find stuff that you like, and you want to make sure they work for you. So measure your ceilings and your counters and distances between junction boxes over kitchen islands. 
uh, size of tables, all that good stuff. If you guys have an iPad laying around, take pictures of everything. So pictures of the ceiling, pictures of your project, bring the iPad in so we can go over everything together. And then uh, bring a good sized SUV because the boxes tend to be on the larger side because they were shut up, set up for shipping, okay? So after that, uh, when you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. No tax if you ship out of the state of Vermont. And we're the only dealer with 90-day returns and no restocking fees. No one else even comes close to that. Some larger items, those are going to be generally big things on pallets, and custom items are non-returnable. We'll always tell you on the page for that item if that is the case, so just you know, keep an eye out. And then we also have a rush program. So Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock anything. Generally takes about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half. It is really inexpensive. And if you guys want to know more, just drop me a quick email. And our email address is sales at handmadeinvermont.com. And we spell out the word Vermont. You can also call during business hours, 802-446-2400. And I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 to 6 Eastern time. And our showroom's open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you for stopping in today. Take care. Bye-bye.